think it's time to start making some definition on these muscles. So I'm going to grab the clay or build, um, either clay buildup or clay tubes. I find them quite, they're different, but I find them to be quite, uh, quite the same. They do very similar things. Now the pectoralis muscle is going to go into the arm. It softens towards the top. We are going to mark the clavicle. I'm going to hit dynamic. <coughs> Excuse me. And the clavicle goes into an S shape on the top of the shoulder right over here. It's kind of like um, the shape of a bike um, handle. And it doesn't matter if it's strong right now. I mean, it's, it's definitely a strong feature on on, on the human skeleton. I'm, I'm sorry, on the human figure. You can start putting the sternocleidomastoid of the neck. It's another feature that is strong. Very evident. And that attaches to the clavicle. I'm going to start to mass the trapezius. Give him a strong trapezius. It goes all the way over here to the clavicle also. Give him a strong trapezius. Deltoid, the front deltoid, side deltoid. Um, the front deltoid goes. Um, it or its origin is on the clavicle, and its insertion is on the humerus. The side one is also attached from the clavicle. And it was attached to the humerus. And the rear one comes attached from the spine of the um, right over here. So it goes right over here, it starts on the spine of the scapula. Here, and it forms sort of a shield, what I would call it, in the back of the arm. It comes in this direction. The scapula, the spine of the scapula, comes right over here, and that's where it's attached. This covers most of the back of the arm, so that's an important one to keep. Now another thing that you got to keep in mind is that every muscle, although it looks round to us, it's not round. There's soft curves, but most of them have a shape. So what I like to do quite often is to flatten them up. Uh, so I choose a low intensity for that and just give them planes. Got a plane right over here. Got another plane right over here. Over here. Over here, right over here. Um, at this point, it doesn't show up very well because we're still in a very low subdivision level. 
that you can pull out some of these forms. The muzzle tends to have a little bit of a peak right over here, right where the head of the humerus. Yes. A little bit forward, right to the, towards the top, creating that angle right over there. And it's got a slightly one right over here too, right before insert. Just soften it up a little bit. And there you go. So we have those angles that we're going to talk about. Um, use H polish for that too if you want. Um, we can use a mask to create um, our bicep. Now again, keep uh, keep reminding you guys, ZBrush uh, tends to inflate things, so it's always a good idea that once you stroke something, um, uh, not a, I, I can't tell you a set amount of times, but you know quite often you have to, as you can tell with my the the my cursor turns blue, um, I'm softening it. It's important to keep doing that. There's the belly of the muscle. This go, goes insert. The insertion is right over here, and this appears right over there. I'm making with the negative, I'm making an, an inset in there to make a separation between the bicep and the tricep. Uh, the brachialis and very built guys is going to show up. Uh, it's not something that shows up on most people, but right over there, this is the bra brachialis. I'm going to take a little bit out of this mask because it doesn't go that far. <coughs> the tricep is like a horseshoe. Actually, let me take that back. And that's what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to inf it's going to work on the muscle. I'm going to add a little bit of a mask right over here so we don't touch that part and it comes this is the long head of the tricep this is the short head of the tricep you go to the side of the elbow Come from underneath it's thicker underneath the arm Make a separation right over there to separate the bicep and the tricep. Continue that separation. Now, again, these are just really broad forms, so we'll refine them later on when we get into each section, each part of the body. <coughs> the muscle goes like this, like that, like that, like that. Let's soften this a little bit. Smooth it, I'm sorry. Keep calling it soften. Same thing, but smooth it out. Move this guy out. Bicep is not a, a big muscle. Everybody, it, Most people tend to think that the biggest muscle in the body, I mean in the arm, is the bicep and is um, by far one of the smallest. Um, the big muscle underneath, when you see a really muscly guy, the the muscle that actually gets um, bigger is the is the brachialis. Is the one that is sandwiched between the fem um, the humerus and the bicep. That's the one that gives the girth. Belly of the muscle of the tricep is right over here. Got another one over here. On really developed guys, if when they extend the arms, you'll see the tricep, the long head of the tricep extending from the bottom, or almost like hanging. 
It gets really big. These are, these are the biggest muscles on the forearm. I'm on the arm. I'm sorry. A little too square. Let's make this soften up a little bit more. The tendon of the tricep is somewhat flat. It's got a little bit of a curve, obviously, but it's flatter than the rest of it. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I'm going to isolate the arms. That was done uh, with Control Shift and Option or Alt for the PC, and uh, you s that's for the selections that red um, selection that you saw. That's for taking away. Or I need to work on this tricep from over here. Get that separation. Give it a little bit more to the bicep. And more on the deltoid. Let's make the fossa right over here with the bicep inserts. Soften it up a little bit. To isolate this a little bit less. We are going to build the brachioradialis right over here. And it starts it tucks underneath the tricep. Goes towards the side. It actually it tucks in right over here. I'm not going to mark the tendons just yet. We don't have enough geometry to actually do that. But the muscles should be there. Uh, with damn standard, I think I'm going to make some demarcations right over here. Again, on the figure, you won't be able to tell those these demarcations unless the person is really really thin you know with almost no no body fat body fat in, in, <laughs> in their body that would be like the only way there's another one right over there right over here right over here Okay, soften that a little bit. And from over here, you should be able to see this. That's the external digity. Digiti. Minimize. I'm doing all these demarcations and in reality I probably should wait until we have a little bit more um, geometry. Let's do for the flexor carpi ulnaris.
and make the elbow evident right over there. I would like to pop this a little bit more. Seems a little bit flat to me. So let's bring it out just a bit. There you go. That looks much better. Bring this baby out. Oops. That's nice. I tell you, I love the move the move brush. You know, you can create a lot with uh, sculpting brushes, but once you, if you want to get re really quick forms, the move brush is just magical. Let's see. Almost seems like that tricep is a bit too tucked in. It looks fine. Okay. The tubes. Now this one's all going to be pick on dial right over here side of the arm it's right over here we have all the Palma Palmaris longos coming right over here all these will insert right here on these tendons Pushing that. <laughs> I'm going to make these obvious right over here. This is where the bone wrists are. This one is really obvious in, every, in the human body. right on the top of the posterior part on the um, dorsal side of the hand maybe a little more I mean it is really obvious if you look at your palm I mean at your hand and your wrist that bad boy is right there this one right too this one is not as obvious but it's still there you can feel it it's more on the palmer side, or like actually it's on the side where you can tell there it is. I'm going to keep I'm going to take away from this to create the fossas in between each fouling. Mm-hmm. Let us see how this looks. Good so far. Okay. Just checking what I've done. I'm going to put a little bit more on this bicep, make this guy a little bit more built. As you can see, I'm not adding from here because the belly of the muscle is actually right over here. You can add a little bit to make the tendon obvious, but not much from the side is where you 
judge this guy. There you go. I'm going to pull it up a little bit. There you go. This is flatter. Much nicer. There you go. That looks good. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to have enough geometry to pull the muscles of the palm that we can attempt. That's there's a little bit of them there. Right here. This is Side of the palm, it's bulgy. Let me add a little bit more here. That uh, looks good. I'm going to soften it up a little bit. Smooth that. Really good. Just not all full of peaks. Okay. I think we are done with the arms for now. So we can bring the figure back. I'm going to go into. Actually, let's reverse that. Oops. So by uh, using Control Shift and scratching on the background, you will be able to uh, switch or flip the selection. This way I can see what I'm doing with the body. Seems to me like this guy needs you know what I'm gonna bring it because I need this this area anyway for at least for now we can take out the arms from this area so we can see what we're doing there you go and we can mask this much better so uh, with a negative I'm gonna carve right over here to make the That where the spine goes, not over here, because you have the seventh vertebrae, vertebrae, which is an indication for most people. It's actually a little lower, right over here. This is the tendon on this one. It's flat right over here. It's got a belly right over here. And it goes down. The are um, God, I'm like the name escapes me right now. <laughs> Our lats. I'm sorry. There you go. Sometimes I get these brain farts that I cannot remember names, but uh, lats. Your laterals. Latissimus dorsi. Uh, the tendon on it is flat right over here. There's only a belly on this area right over there. And it just goes like this. Mm. 
we don't have enough geometry right now to form these guys but we'll indicate them anyway Soften this stuff a little bit. Now we're going to go for the boat buttocks <laughs> for the butt. Um, I want to shape this a little bit more. So I'm not happy with it. This should go in a bit more. And the superior anterior iliac crest should be marked somewhere over here. Needs to be evident. Is that looking good or not? Let's see. Yeah. Maybe a little bit lower. Since Men have a lower, it doesn't start as high, or at least it doesn't seem to start as high. There we go. I'm going to add a husk right over here. dip right over there where the head of the trochanter is, I mean head of the femur. Mm, that's a little bit too... there you go. Gluteus medius is right over here. Gluteus maximus comes attached to all of the posterior iliac spine. And I can create a furrow right here, just lowering this guy up. So the muscle direction is this. It only goes further right over here. I'm going to create an indentation between, it's not very obvious, but it's got to be there between the medius and the maximus. There you go. And we should be bringing this closer together. Yep, that's looking good. Although now it's a little too too big <laughs> to bring that baby down. So with this, we're gonna tuck him in. See, this is what happened. It got too inflated because ZBrush tends to inflate things. That's too big. You don't want that. There you go. Look at from all angles. Let's check this out. Let's see.
you can tell it's very useful to have that flat color um, material because it allows you to really see the sh the uh, outlines the shape very important to use that sometimes you get lost with all the interior all the forms of the interior and you start to lose sight of what the figure is supposed to look like I'm going to take up a little bit out of this oops sorry with the other one and I'm going to go into this again a little bit more of the thigh area and the tibialis anterior okay that looks good Let's see a little bit more in here a little bit more up here With the clay, I mean, sorry, with the clay tubes, I am going to start defining some of the rib cage bones. Not necessarily visible, but you do have to have that demarcation so you know where the abs will be. So here's one, two, and the longest abs right over here. We don't have enough geometry to actually make any good marks. Flank is right over here. The serratus anterior. Here, and this is more of the latissimus dorsi. Soften that up a little bit. And now we can work on the legs. Like I said, we need to make sure that the iliac uh, superior anterior iliac crest or spine is evident. Because a lot of attachments go there. A lot of the leg attachments. The Sartorius goes from there. The um, um, rectus femoris goes from there, for example. Rectus femoris right over here. You actually demarcate them with the damn standard. Yeah, the vastus lateralis and the vastus medialis. The 
belly of it's like a teardrop shape on the vastus lateralis I mean medialis I'm sorry medialis is towards the inside lateralis is front to the outside Let's do the patella right over here. Another important important bony mark. We're gonna need more geometry on the legs. It's obvious that we're not gonna be able to get much at this stage, so We can make a. In most people, these are not obvious; they're not evident. But there is a demar there should be a demarcation right there in between these muscles right over here. Uh, the bicep femoris, the tendinosus, and the semimembranosus. Guys, go to the sides. And obviously, well, stop it. There's a lot of muscles coming on the inside, but we're not going to mark them that much. We're just going to do some right over here. The gracilis, the it's right over here. Hmm, for some reason, well, this is interesting. Not turning into my soft brush. That's good. Where are the soft ones? Or smooth, I'm sorry. Smooth valley, so smooth peak. Or just regular smooth. Well, this is interesting. Had to stop the video there for a second because something happened in ZBrush and it just started freaking out and <laughs> the smooth brush was not working, so I fixed it. Anyway, uh, we were doing the legs and uh, so the bicep femoris, the semimembranosus and the semitendinosus, the adductor magnus that comes inside. Um, fortunately, we won't be able to work on those ones for now. Let me pull this down because we need to start marking that. After all, this is a guy. Oops, pull the leg. Needs to be at least marked. want to add some geometry to this bottom right over here because not that deep shouldn't be that deep there you go I 
Ischians should be somewhere in there. There you go. All right. I am just going to go ahead. I'm going to add some more geometry because I'm not going to have enough there in the leg. So just divide it once more. Maybe another division will do. Division of five. I'm just going to start working on the legs. I'm going to go down with Shift D. Let's see. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to go down a couple more because I'm going to bring this how it should be. Just there you go. Actually, right, I'm going to go down all the way. Bring this guy's the gastronemius to where it's supposed to be. With D you go up in levels, subdivision levels, and with Shift D you go down. Control D to create new ones. Of course you have to be all the way up on your subdivision levels to be able to do that at the highest one. I still think this needs to be a lot higher, so Shift D to I'm gonna take the feet out for the for now because they're in the way. This is why I can see much better. D. That's much 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 better. Now we can bring all of it back by control shift and tapping on the canvas. D again. D again. Clay tubes. I am going to start marking the gastronemius. <coughs> Actually, let me do a marks with how it's supposed to be. They're divided in half. Although you can't really tell on most people, you can't tell. that there's a division there. It's still there. <laughs> it needs to be. Now the outside, the lateral one, it's higher. And the medial one, it's lower. and the medial one is a lot bigger than the side one tendon goes right over here let's smooth this out and with clay twos we can start shaping them up now these guys are flat right over here, right where the tendon of the origin is and the belly of the muscle is right over here and 
right over here. I'm doing negative strokes on this one to kind of carve it in and then smoothing it out. To add more, the belly's thick right over here, right before it goes into this tendon or Achilles tendon. And the stroke of the muzzle is in this direction. Oops, too far. There you go, a little bit of softening. We got that guy done. I want a little bit more of a transition. There you go. That's that's good. Very good. We have the crest of the, the belly of the muscle right over there. That's exactly where we need it. We are going to do another selection right over here. Actually, whoa, there you go. And let me separate this guy from that so we don't disturb what we already did. Okay, so. Belly of the muscle. Sometimes it's better just to do this <laughs> so you don't disturb anything of what you just did. Belly of the muscle is right there. Create a little bit more thickness right there. There you go. Now, obviously, this is way exaggerated. It needs to be come. It needs to be brought down. Let me soften it up a little bit. See what I mean? How it kind of looks lumpy in certain areas when you start bringing the subdivisions up. That's that's exactly what I meant. It's very easy to start making it look like that. So you got to be careful for that. A lot of smoothing goes in. It's actually a lot higher than that. There we go. Pull it out a little bit more from the side. There you go. This should tip towards the inside. This guy should tip right over here, higher it over up here. It's maybe a little too much, it's right up here. There you go. From the side, it should be 
higher up here. Not so much up here. Bring that up. Sometimes this is even easier done on this. These forms are very subtle. It's very easy to get away and to start getting carried away. I'm messing things up. So I recommend caution. Lots of caution with dealing with these forms. As you can see, I keep stepping down. It's a lot easier to deal with geometry when it's at a lower setting, I mean, at a lower um, level of subdivision. Now, you're going to notice that there's a belly right over here, and there's another one right over here. Now, these are dis different muscles. Uh, these are the interior muscles, and this is actually the belly of the. Um, vastus medialis, but there's a furrow right there that is created by the sartorius. So it comes from here and it goes down and it tucks into the side of the leg and it goes around and attaches right over here. I want to see this. Let's see. Too much. It's a little bit more over here. Maybe a bit more on the side right over here. Let's see. No. Going back to that. Quick save. Now in front of the leg, you are going to have a plane where the tibia, the tibia comes. Um, so we can create that. No, I'm sorry, with the uh, polish, the tibia comes from over here. Let's get that. There you go. We're going to have the tibialis anterior coming. Comes from the side of the leg. You know what? I'm not going to use the clay tubes. I'm going to use clay. Let's just start getting up on this. You know, that was a little bit too high, and the C intensity was a little too high on that one. Still too high. I'm sorry. That's the drum intensity. I need the intensity down. That's way too much. This creates, I mean, it goes fast and you start creating big forms real quick, but it's lumpy. <laughs> and you don't want that. We don't want that. Create a selection. Right over here, a mask. Because your TBL is interior has that shape. Should have just got the shape right over here. There you go. It's much easier to do it this way. Let's 
see. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted. Now to be sure, actually this mo this tendon goes to the side, so it doesn't look like that in reality. This actually goes to the side. I probably should get a little closer, so. The lump thing that I'm talking about. Got to try to avoid that at all cost. Now the tibia, the tibia is somewhat. It's right away here. It's very obvious. You can feel it if you touch your leg in the front. It's one bone that is very evident. The soleus comes right over here. All of this is part of the gastrocnemius on the side. On the interior side, the medial side of the leg. And you have to get used to those anatomical terms. A little bit flatter right over here. Tibia, basically, it's this area. That's how evident it is on the body. It's that area. There's other muscles right over here, like the soleus and all these things that the peroneus they go attached to the leg, they have tendons that go up like this. They're usually not very noticeable. They all kind of mesh together, but you know, gotta be aware of them. The actual soleus is right over here. On the inside, oops. That went a little too far. Soften. I want to create a definition right here. Some separation. So you guys understand what I'm talking about. So that is done. I want to create the sartorius the indentation that we were talking about. This guy goes right over here. And he literally goes like this. And it tucks right over here and it inserts into the head I believe is the tibia if I'm not mistaken it's attached to the superior iliac um, anterior superior iliac spine is that obvious there? Okay. Let me make some indentations right away here. This for the Femoris, rectus femoris. Again, unless you're the the the, the 
human is really built, you're not going to be able to distinguish much between this and, and a real person. They, they just kind of all blend together. Um, subcutaneous fat just kind of masks all of that pretty well. And they go, and it goes in on a side, it goes from over here, and it goes, um, and it comes together uh, on a tendon that is shared by the, th the rectus femoris, the vastus lateral medialis and the vastus lateralis and they'll go over the patella and they insert right over here on the tibia vastus lateralis the tendon on that one is higher than on the vast vastus medialis the tendon just starts to right over here teardrop shape of the vast okay we got that good for now we'll take a break and I'll be back